God has called us to stand against the gods of yeah. the age. Yeah. In America, they don't talk about idols, but the idols are just as real now. There's political correctness. There's, but what, the thing that happens is this. You know, you know for Mo, if Moses did not stand, you know, nothing would have happened. You know, we cannot accept. You know, the enemy wants all, all to bow down before him. He's the one who wanted Messiah to bow down. And so one of the things you see in the Bible, one, the people of God are always called to that moment where they have to choose, I'm not going to bow down to this. Yes. I'm not, Moses, I'm not bowing down to those gods. Daniel, I'm not bowing down, you know, or the, or yes. the three. Yes. Uh, the Maccabees would not bow down. No. The Paul would not bow down. No. The, the uh, uh, Mordecai wouldn't bow down, you know, and, and the, the Christians wouldn't bow down. That's why they were killed. The reason was, very specific, they would not bow down to say that Caesar was God and offer a That's sacrifice. Right. So that, all that came from that. Not bowing down is so crucial. We are called to stand, and this is our time. You know, we don't have a choice. You know, the Jewish people, I said, you know, we have almost fight stories. But once they went back to Israel, that was all over. They knew they had to fight. If they didn't fight, they don't live. And, and so in the same way, we are called to fight the fight. We cannot, we cannot give in. And so one of the things I say, first of all, in this age, it's a prophetic age. We're like Elijah. Elijah would, I will not bow down my knee to Baal. Well, we are, you have all these things where everybody's saying you have to accept it, you have to go along with it, you have to be quiet, you have to, and we, are, we must say, no, I will not bow down yes. to that false god. Yes. I will not bow my yes. knee to Baal. I will not, I will not give in to political correctness. I will not fear, come what may, I am standing. I will only bow down to the living God. Yes. And no other God, no other idol. I will not serve it. I will not give in to it. I will stand against it. We are called to do that. And when that happens, the reason why Christians are so in, in, the, in the crossfire now is because we're the last holdout that's not bowing down or those who are true. Right. And the enemy hates that. They, 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 that's why there's always fury against those who will not. But this is our time. We must stand against the gods. And not only prophetically, but even personally. That is that the enemy is always trying to make you, make, his, make God's people bow down to fear, bow down to worry, bow down to temptation, bow down to depression, bow down to discouragement, bow down to your past. And you have to say, no, I don't have to take no. this. I don't have to give in to this. I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight that depression. I'm going to fight that God. I'm going to fight that fear. I'm going to fight that gloom. Yeah. I'm going to overcome because there is only one God. Therefore, I do not have to bow down to the God of fear or the God of anxiety or the God of shame or the God of, of impurity. I can overcome all those things because I have the living God. Mm. And the other thing is, Woo! one last thing That's here, great. is so that, good. is that, mm. The other thing you got to know, we got to know about the enemy, and we were sharing this before, that is that when, when the enemy always attacks God's purposes, so he attacks it, he will especially attack before the big things are coming of God. He attacked Moses, Moses when he was a baby, yes. attacked Messiah when he's a baby, he attacked the church when it was beginning, he attacked, he tried to stop Israel from coming into existence by the Holocaust. I mean, that was fury because of what God was going to do. So the thing is, we have to realize something. If you're in God, main thing, just be in God's will. But if you are in God's will and you're being attacked, you're being harassed, you're being, you're being threatened by the enemy, do not fear. In fact, be encouraged. It's a great sign. It means God has something great for you. The enemy doesn't waste his time. So he, he knows what God has for you. Be strong and overcome, and you're going to enter into what God has. Oh.